Hello students, as we discuss the topic YDSC in the last video, now we will discuss the numericals of the same topic. First question. What is the first, first question here? In YDSC, wavelength used is 5000 Armstrong and the distance between the slits is 2 millimeter. Distance of the screen from the slits is 1 meter. Then find the fringe width and also calculate the 7th dark fringe from the central bright fringe. Okay. What and all the given data is? Lambda is equal to 5000 Armstrong. 5000 Armstrong. Okay small d is equal to the distance between the slits is 2 millimeter 2 millimeter and the capital d the distance of screen from the slits is 1 meter now we have to find out fringe width and also the seventh dark fringe okay what is the formula for fringe width beta is equal to lambda capital d divided by small d do you remember this yeah beta will be equal to what is lambda 5000 into Armstrong. Armstrong is 10 to the power minus 10 meter into capital D is 1 meter divided by small d is 2 millimeter. 2 into millimeter is 10 to the power minus 3 meter. 10 power minus 3 and 10 power minus 10. If I cancel it will get 10 power minus 7. Now this 3 zeros 10 power 3 and if we cancel this we will get 10 power minus 4. Beta will be equal to 5 by 2 into 10 to the power minus 4. 5 by 2 is 2.5. Beta will be equal to 2.5 into 10 power minus 4 meter or beta is equal to 0 0.25 millimeter. Okay. This is the first thing asked. The next thing is the distance of 7th dark fringe. The distance is y n is equal to what was it for dark fringe it was 2 n minus 1 lambda capital D divided by small 2 d ok y n will be equal to 2 into what is n here 7 n is what 7 ok 2 into 7 minus 1 lambda is 5000 into 10 power minus 10 into d is 1 divided by 2 into small d is 2 into 10 to the power minus 3. Okay. Now, then y n will be equal to, if you cancel this, 10 power minus 7. Again, if I cancel this, it is 10 power minus 4. As usual, same as this. 2 7s are 14 minus 1 into 5 into 10 power minus 4 divided by 4. Then y n will be equal to 14 minus 1, 13 into 5 divided by 4 into 10 power minus 4. 13 into 5 will be y n will be equal to <coughs> 13 5s are 65 divided by 4 into 10 power minus 4. y n will be equal to 1.625 millimeter. Okay. So the next question is. Two narrow slits separated by 0.2 millimeter. Slits are separated by small d is given as 0.2 millimeter. Okay. Are illuminated by a light of wavelength 400 nanometer. Wavelength lambda is given as 400 nanometer. An interference fringe pattern is formed on a screen 2 meter from the slits. Capital D is given as 2 meter. Okay. Find the fringe width. First we have to find beta. Next, next case is new fringe width when the slit separation is halved. That means small d will become, uh, this is d1, d2 will become small d, d1 by 2, that is 0 0.1 millimeter is halved and also find the, uh, first of all we have to find new fringe width, beat, this is beta 1, this is beta 2 and also we have to find delta beta, change in fringe width, okay. First, beta 1 beta 1 will be equal to lambda d divided by small d1 because only small d is changing 
will keep lambda and d as constants okay now beta 1 is we have to find out beta 1 will be equal to lambda is 400 into 10 to the power minus 9 into capital D is 2 meter divided by small d is 0 0.2 millimeter means 10 power minus 3 0 0.2 ones are 0 0.2 tens are okay uh, 10 power minus 3 if I cancel this it will be 10 power minus 6 now beta will be beta 1 will be equal to 4 double 0 and this 10 it will be 10 power 3 into 10 power minus 6 10 power plus 3 10 power minus 6 it will be 10 power minus 3 therefore beta 1 will be equal to 4 millimeter you got it next beta 2 beta 2 will be equal to lambda d divided by d2 similarly beta 2 will be equal to lambda is 400 into 10 power minus 9 into d is 2 divided by small d is small d2 will be equal to 0 0.1 millimeter means 10 power minus 3 0 0.11 is a 0 0.20 okay it will be as 20 now beta 2 will be equal to 10 power minus 3 if i can say this it will be 10 power minus 6 again will be equal to 4 into 4 into 2 into double 0 and this one 0 it will be 10 power 3 into 10 power minus 6 when we cancel this it will be beta 2 will be equal to 8 millimeter now delta beta we have to find out lastly delta beta is beta 2 minus beta 1 delta beta will be equal to beta 2 is 8 millimeter minus beta 1 is 4 millimeter 8 minus 4 will be 4 then beta delta beta will be equal to 4 millimeter delta beta is change in fringe width right okay if i have to do this for a neat exam how will we do this is for board exam right we have to write the given data then we have to find out beta 1 beta 2 then fringe width okay if i have to do for a neat exam what we will do first thing is what is changing here small d is changing capital d and lambda is constant so we will go like beta is inversely proportional to small d if small d is decreased by half then beta will increase to uh, increase to double when it is halved it will be double because they are inversely proportional see same thing happened right beta 1 is 4 millimeter then beta 2 we got 8 millimeter okay so the next question is calculate the distance between the centers of fourth and seventh bright fringe in an interference pattern produced in ydsc give the separation given the separation between the slits is 1.1 into 10 to the power minus 3 meter small d is 1.1 into 10 power minus 3 meter the wavelength is 589.3 nanometer 589.3 nanometer and the distance of the screen from the slits is 1.3 meter in capital d is equal to 1.3 meter okay what and all we have to find out the distance between fourth and seventh bright fringe first we have to find out the distance of fourth bright fringe xn will be equal to n lambda capital d by small d similarly x4 will be equal to 4 into lambda is 589.3 into 10 power minus 9 into capital d is 1.3 divided by small d is equal to 1.1 into 10 power minus 3 if we cancel this 10 power minus 3 it will be 10 power minus 6 so x4 will be equal to if you calculate this 4 into if you calculate this 4 into 4 589.3 into 1.3 that will be equal to 3064.36 divided by 1.1 into 10 to the power minus 6 okay now x4 will be equal to if you multiply 3064.36 divided, uh, divided by 1.1 it will be 2785.78 into 10 power minus 6 that will be equal to 2.785 millimeter okay the the next thing to find out is the next one is seventh bright fringe that is x7 is equal to 7 into 589.3 into 10 power minus 9 into 1.3 divided by 
1.1 into 10 power minus 3. If we cancel this, we will get 10 power minus 6. Now, x7 will be equal to, if you multiply this, we will get, uh, we will get 5362.63 into 10 power minus 6 divided by 1.1. And finally, x7 will be equal to, x7 will be equal to 4875.11 into 10 power minus 6 meter that is x7 is equal to 4.875 millimeter. Now we need to find the distance between these two that is x7 minus x4. What is that x7 is 4.875 millimeter right minus x4 is 2.785 both are in millimeter is equal to 4.875 minus 2.785 will be equal to 2.09 millimeter the next question in ydsc the fringes of certain width are produced on the screen certain width they have been given the beta here kept at a certain distance okay from the slits when the screen is moved away from the slits by 0 0.1 meter, the fringe width increases by 6 into 10 to the power minus 5 meter. Okay. The separation between the slits is 1 millimeter. Calculate the wavelength of light used. All and all they have given. See. Initially, there was some fringe width beta with a distance d. What is d here? The distance between uh, screen and the slits. Okay. And the small d is given as 1 millimeter now what they have done they have increased uh, they have moved the screen away from the slits let us consider this as the slits and this is the screen the distance is d they have moved away from the slits means the distance increases right then it is then d dash will be equal to d plus 0 0.1 meter okay now beta is increased by beta dash will be equal to 6 into 10 to the power minus 5 meter means beta plus 6 into 10 to the power minus 5 meter okay now we have to find out the lambda what will be wavelength now beta is equal to lambda d by d beta dash will be equal to lambda d dash by d lambda into what is d dash here d plus 0 0.1 d plus 0 0.1 divided by small d is as it is and what is beta dash here? Beta dash is equal to beta plus 6 into 10 to the power minus 5 is equal to, if I multiply this, lambda d divided by small d. This denominator will be for both of this, small d plus 0 0.1 lambda by small d as it is. Okay. What is lambda d by d? It is beta. So, we can write it as beta plus 6 into 10 to the power minus 5 is equal to beta plus 0 0.1 lambda divided by small d is 1 millimeter that is 10 to the power minus 3 meter okay beta beta gets cancelled from both the sides then if we multiply this here 6 into 10 to the power minus 5 into 10 to the power minus 3 is 10 to the power minus 8 is equal to 0 0.1 we can write it as 10 to the power minus 1 lambda therefore if we cut this this will be 10 to the power minus 7 then lambda will be equal to 6 into 10 to the power minus 7 that is equal to 600 nanometer so the next question in ydsc the distance of the screen from the double slit is 2 meter that is capital d is 2 meter when the light of wavelength 550 nanometer is incident lambda is 550 nanometer the fringes of width 2 millimeter are obtained they have given beta beta is equal to 2 millimeter determine the distance of separation between the slits we need to find out small d and also find the fringe width when the source of light is replaced by the light of wavelength 440 nanometer uh, we have to find out beta dash and also they have given lambda dash as 440 nanometer when wavelength is uh, when the light is replaced by 450 nanometer wavelength you have to find out the beta dash first we will find out the small d 
beta is equal to lambda capital D by small d. Then from here small d will be equal to lambda capital D by beta. Small d will be equal to lambda is 550 nanometer means 10 power minus 9 into capital D is 2 meter divided by small d uh, divided by beta is 2 millimeter 2 into 10 to the power minus 3. 2 2 gets cancelled 10 power minus 3 10 power minus 6. Then d will be equal to 550 into 10 power minus 6 meter or d will be equal to 0 0.55 millimeter. Now beta dash will be equal to lambda capital D by lambda dash D by small d okay because only wavelength is changing here. Then beta dash will be equal to lambda dash is 440 nanometer 440 into 10 to the power minus 9 into capital D is 2 meter as usual small d is we got 0 0.55 into 10 power minus 3 meter 10 power minus 3 10 power minus 3 if we cancel we will get 10 power minus 6 now beta dash will be equal to 440 into 2 will be 880 into 10 power minus 6 divided by 0 0.55 0 0.880 by 0 0.55 is 1.6 into we will get it as by calculating all this we will get 1.6 into 10 power minus 3 then beta dash will be equal to 1.6 millimeter and the next question here YDSC is performed in air and then in a medium. First, it has performed in air, then in a medium, other than air. It is found that 8th bright fringe in the medium lies, 8th bright fringe in medium lies where the 5th dark fringe lies in air. The refractive index of the medium is nearly. For medium, what is the formula for fringe width? Beta is equal to lambda d by mu d. And what is the formula for xn or yn? Anything. n lambda d by mu d. They have told right, 8th bright fringe, the distance of 8th bright fringe. That means x8 or y8 will be equal to 8 lambda capital D divided by mu d. Which is same as, which lies where? The fifth dark fringe in air. In air, there is no mu here. Fifth dark fringe. What is the formula for dark fringe? 2 n minus 1, right? 2 into 5 minus 1 lambda capital D divided by small d. Small 2d. Okay. What all will get cancelled from here? Lambda d, lambda d, small d, small d. Okay. Then 8 by mu will be equal to 2 by the 10, 10 minus 1, 9 by 2. Then mu will be equal to 8 to the 16, 16 by 9. Then mu will be equal to 16 by 9 is 1.78. The question seems to be hard, but it's too easy. Okay. So we have finished the numericals based on this topic, which will help you out to understand the topic very uh, easily. And thank you for watching.